Aí, oh yeah, baby, welcome to Chef Bucket Cage Kitchen. God dang. Let me tell you what I got going on today. This going to be a rerun. This is going to be, uh, I, last year about this time, just before duck season, hunting season, and all that good stuff, I went ahead and made a video on, on wild duck gumbo. This was a, a, a special. It's for the camp. If you, you know, like, this is something like, you know, what happens when you go to the camp. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and reshow this one here because we're getting back on that time right now. And I tell you what, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it tremendously. Even if you've seen it already, you're going to enjoy it some more. Anyway, the Chef Bouquet, and I'll talk with y'all later and enjoy the video. Hot damn. Well, I tell you, I love me some ducks now. Ooh. Listen here, tonight I'm making a famous wood duck seafood gumbo. And I tell you what, I'm going to show you my ingredients and we're going to start making it right now. First thing I did was start off with a gallon of water, which I'm boiling. I've got wood ducks right here, wild wood ducks. Gonna act like we're at the camp right now, so there's gonna be a lot of things going in here. I'm gonna pour my little wood ducks in there. All right. Get my wood ducks boiling. My water's pretty hot right now. It should be going pretty strong. Sausage. I've got fresh pork sausage. I'm going to cut it after a while. I like to put it in just like it is and then take it out later and cut it the way that, the way that I want to cut it. This comes from Russell's store in Arneville, Louisiana. Well, I could almost eat it raw. That sounds good. Oh, Russell's got the best. A little hillshire. we got some hillshire people that like, they like their little sausage out there, them little campers. They like their little hillshire. Best stuff. At the best stop in Louisiana, right on the highway, on 93 out of Sunset and Kington. Get off the highway going toward Kington, a mile down the road on the left. Best stop is the best. Good deal. And this is Miss Eula Savoie's on do it. Famous on do it. This sausage here is spicy and especially for gumbo and beans. This is the one you want right here. And I'm going to cut all that later, because remember, I'm at the camp right now. And I'm dropping that in there. Now, getting ready to pour this in there. I've got a video on this shrimp stock that I made earlier. I've got a video on that. I'm going to pour my shrimp stock in there. And I'd say that's about four cups. And let it start cooking in there. Because I want that flavor. You're going to say, what about the wood duck? Trust me, that wood duck's going to bring a flavor in there too. Now later on as we go, I've got crawfish tails. I'm going to put in there some good crawfish tails. Clean, clean. I clean those myself. Shrimp. I got two pounds of shrimp. And these shrimp right here is fresh. Can't get any fresher than that. Clean those myself. These two I'm gonna put back in the ice chest until I'm ready. Don't forget I'm at the camp right now. <laughs> Now I've got a video on how to make a gumbo root, a real gumbo root. This is the one I've got a video I put out today. This is the root we're going to be using right here. 
Set it on the side till I'm ready for root. And now my little condiments. I've got parsley, garlic, granules, salt, paprika, cayenne pepper, and red and black pepper. Now before I do that, before I put those little seasonings in, watch this. I'm going to put a can of Rotel tomatoes. The original Rotel. You can put the hot or extra hot if you want. Always add an extra diced tomato, regular tomato, when I'm doing seafood gumbo. That's the little rascal there want to fight the old boy. Small bell pepper. Three cloves of garlic. One large onion, because don't I would usually use two of them normally, but I got one of them in my roux already. Alright, I'm gonna crank this up on high and let it go and I'll see you. This is gonna take about maybe an hour, hour and twenty minutes. I'll see you then. All right, I yeah, baby. All right, now listen. I just got. I'm just gonna switch this sausage to another pot. My camera girl's busy. Sorry about that. I got company, additional company coming over after a while. So I do need. I'm gonna need more gumbo. So it's time now to cut the sausage. That's another reason why sometimes I take it easy on cutting my sausage because I don't know how many people I feed in there. So anyway, I'm going to cut it. And I've got a bigger pot so the gang can come on over and get some gumbo. I don't know why I start using that little pot anyway. I mean, it's okay. It just be me and a couple of people, but evidently this Friday night is party night, and we love party night, boy. Let me tell you. Hey, yes, I. Life is so good out here. Well, this that fresh sausage I'm on right here. I made a special trip out there to Honorville to pick up Russell sausage. That's the kind of sausage you can put in a pot, put a little grease, cover it up with water, put a little grease in there just to kind of float, and let this rascal go. And when it gets down to the grease and fries a little bit, take it out and put it on the sand. Alright, sausage is in there. I'm going to talk to y'all later. I've got to transfer this pot. Well, I'm going to season up this pot now. I did boiling real good. I got two stalks of celery. I forgot to, didn't forget. I just left them out for a reason. I'll tell you the reason one day. Right now, I've got a... Two little chicken cubes I'm going to put in here. You know, my little ducks, I don't have any skin on there, and that's usually where you get that good gravy, too. So I'll put a couple of little poultry chicken chicken cubes in there. That helps out.
garlic powder. I got garlic in there already, but it's good to put a heaping tablespoon. About what I did. It was raining out there, couldn't get my parsley. So I'm going to use my dry parsley. That's about two tablespoons of dry parsley. Stir it real good. Let it boil a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and come back and put my roux in there because I want this to cook for at least another hour and a half. I got to get that little duck cooking. Hey, oh yeah, shy. This is number one pot. Hot dang, I'm going to the camp. Bang. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to put my roux in there. That roux I made with onion today, that dark gumbo roux. It's boiling real good. I got two heaping tablespoons. Or well, two heaping big spoons, right? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it three. And stir it real good. Want that roux to start cooking into that gumbo right now. Right now, right now, right now. Boy, I tell you what. See that little old duck meat? That's just some breast right there. That little boy didn't nearly think, that uh, little duck didn't nearly think he'd be over here in my place. Hey! One thing about the camp, usually when you're making a duck gumbo at the camp, you know, sometimes you finish eating your gumbo and you got a few little BBs at the bottom of the pot. You know, you try to get them all, but it don't. But it don't affect nothing. But I only got two little ducks. If them duck command the people, my buddies over there, not Louisiana, if they want to give me a shout, I'd sure like some little ducks. Hey, I'm ready for some more ducks. I'm all ducked out right now. I ain't got no more. And hey, I take whatever I can get. I know them boys always got something. They got that big old duck commander there that just does his thing, and everybody wants one. I don't want the commander. I don't hunt no more. But I take a duck. Ah, hey, yeah, yeah. Man, let me let this cook. Chef Bocabi, back at the wild. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, been on about an hour and 20 minutes right now, an hour and 15 minutes. Let me take a little taste of this gravy here. Company be coming in after a while. My duck's about done. Everything's looking good. Right now, I'm gonna add my crawfish tails. I'm gonna let my crawfish tails cook for a little while. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my shrimp in there. In the meantime, I'm just gonna let it do its little thing. Just keep Doing the thing, just churning. It's just churning. Oh, yeah, churning. And that's my little green onions there. I throw that in last just before I turn it off. The green onion's gonna go in there so, like that, they can float. Float your onion, that's what it's called. It used to be a, a game called Float Your Onion a long time ago. See you after a while. Aye, oh, shy, baby. Oh, I love this by you stuff. All right, now, it's been cooking a pretty good while there. Now I'm gonna put my fresh shrimp in. That shrimp's gonna take about 15 minutes, maybe. That's about it. 
Stir it up real good. Let them go. And I got one more thing to do. Come back and put my green onions in there after a while. See you after a while. Ay, yeah, baby. All right. Hey, hey. Look here, I'm back. I'm going to finish up this gumbo. And that son of a gun is doing real good, and it tastes so wonderful. Man, I tell you, shrimp are great. Took a little taste of that breast. Breast is great, I tell you what. Green onions, it's the last of it. That's what's going in. My green onions in there, let them work a little bit. Something else I'm working on after a while. Good old French bread. And it's soft too. Good French bread. I'll be tearing that French bread up with my gumbo. Anyway, that's all Chef Bouquet got. That's my wood duck seafood gumbo. You make that. Tell you what, you're going to have all kind of friends come around. Aye, yeah, baby. Later.